Y'all, my cousin is here to Groombo. She actually has her own grooming company. Wait, Sa, you gotta shout out your company. Perfectly Polished. Um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Perfectly Polished. At Perfectly Polished. And Bo is about to get perfectly polished. <laughs> and, and it's so funny because Bo is about to act a fool. I told Sa he's gonna be probably her worst client but she's like she doubts it so i want to hear your worst story well i have a couple which one you want you want large dog you want small dog how what's the worst thing that ever happened okay well one dog um a nervous dog was like diarying on my table when i was shaving him and then he started he kept pooping and pooping and then the owner like we in the grooming salon was like let's just give him a break let's just let him you know finish what he gotta do so then um i'm just standing there holding the dog and the owner's like oh i've been watching you for the past 10 minutes and you haven't done anything to my dog yet and i'm just like well if you've been watching for the past 10 minutes you would notice that your dog's been diarrhea on my table so that's not the worst wait, though wait, so nobody then, ever tried to bite you wait so then we put him on the floor and he explodes shit everywhere like an explosion it went on my shoes maybe he was clothes. nervous so then i have another one where uh my mom's dog bentley I dr i'm turning on the dryer and he is thrashing on the table like choking himself up his eyes are turning purple his tongue is turning purple and he's screaming at the top of his lungs like and i'm just yeah that kind of sounds like both so then i'm Go to do his nails now, and the minute I grab his nails, he doesn't even growl. He just and I'm like, oh hell no! Nah. <laughs> then the minute my mom comes, she just places a hand on him, and, and then he's angel. fine. Yeah. I'm like, but wait, I, I just had the, the devil's dog. I don't know on my Bentley. Table. I just know Foxy. <laughs> I got bitten in my hand. I got bitten in the face. I got well, dog anal gland okay. on me. Well, then if you've gotten all of that, yeah, both oh, should I've, be a piece I've of cake. I had to do the worst of the worst dogs. Like there was this blind dog that couldn't see, but bit for everything. The dog like, couldn't see, but he found a way to bite. Bite everybody, because they dog they feel senses. where you're putting your hand, mm -hmm. and that's where he goes to bite mm -hmm. for, randomly for anything. You can't refuse to groom them. Yeah, of course. That's, so I why mean, you you're, as a groomer, you can, but. I've always groomed the really, really, really bad dogs. And Somehow you, I what, can get it done. You didn't quit? That's, no. that's a good groomer like, right there. I would, as soon as that dog even fixed his <laughs> mouth to bite at me, I'd be like, nope, bye. You create a reflex. Bye, because I'm not getting bit by no dog. The only time I've ever gotten bit is because I wasn't fast enough. But for the most part, I, my reflexes are really fast, and I'm just like, oh, okay. Or I take extra step precautions to like not get bit use a mm -hmm. muzzle use the next second person That's or just let the dog chill out <laughs> but we ain't playing it's time to get bathed time Are to get a bath no? he has been captured he has been captured <laughs> right, and buddy. he's not stressed out so it all depends on the person too if he doesn't trust their energy, then he's gonna be more stressed. Or if that person is is releasing fear, then he's gonna feel it, and he's gonna want to bite them to get away because he doesn't trust them. Mm -hmm. So he just needs somebody that's more sure than him. And they're right. He's a good boy. Come on, up. There you go. He's scared of being up here. I can tell you that now. And he has to get neutered. Oh, definitely. The marking of the territory. Because once he gets neutered, all that rah-rah is going to calm down. Really? That's what I've been hoping and Tremendous praying. Feet. But you know what, Sal? I thought he was neutered already. And then I took him, because his paperwork oh. says he's neutered. Right. Then I took him to the vet and they're like, he has one testicle and the other one is in his abdomen. So if you don't get him neutered, he's go it's going to turn into cancer. Whoa. So I'm like, nah. I gotta get him neutered. Yeah. And then um, the only thing that happens sometimes is they gain a little bit of weight when they get neutered. That's fine. Why? Um, I guess because like 
the testosterone is regulating their rate, their um, weight. Uh huh. <coughs> and um, they're a lot more hyper, so you know they get more activity done. Versus a dog that's neutered, that's more chill, laid back. I mean, sometimes the attitude is still the same. Is it chicken? I'm so proud of him. You letting her do your ears. Yeah, I get him the chicken and peas. Try try changing the chicken because some dogs are allergic. Mm -hmm. So take him off of uh, the chicken. And then sometimes with certain dog foods, if you read the ingredients, the mm -hmm. first four to six items is what the, mainly what it contains. And the chicken byproduct, it has a lot of preservatives, fillers, stuff to make them feel like they're full, you know, like uh -huh. MSG compared to us, for them. So probably try changing him on something more limited ingredient and then giving him some salmon oil or coconut oil drops added to his food and that's gonna really bring out the shine in his coat and he won't have as much dandruff that he has right now. Okay, so, coconut oil, yeah. he more expensive than me. <laughs> All right, y'all, I am in my car on my way to take my mom's clothes to the dry cleaning. Please don't mind my nails, y'all. If y'all watch my previous vlogs, y'all know. If y'all watch my previous vlogs, y'all know that I don't like to like soak or anything like that. I like to let my nails fall off naturally. And I think I'm like gonna take a break from getting my nails done because look at my nails, y'all. A hot mess very thin and very ugly so i'm gonna let my nails try to get back healthy and grow back but for now just ignore my nails but i'm taking my mom's clothes to the dry cleaning and i'm gonna come back and see how Bo is doing and i gotta put gas in my car but i'm not about to do that i'm gonna ride this little what three notches out stopped at Publix because we have absolutely no food at the house and look at my hair after it was just straightened so annoying but anyway we have no food at the house and I'm gonna just pick up some groceries and get me and my mama sub because we're the only ones home pick up some milk I feel like I should get a smaller milk I'm gonna get a smaller milk. <sighs> and do we need eggs? I don't think we need eggs. Bacon, I think we need sausages. Get us a sub. Let's wait in line for a sub. All right, y'all, we just finished grocery shopping. I ended up getting more than I wanted to get, but whatever. At least I won't have to like spend money on food or anything. So while I'm putting groceries in the car, let me tell y'all what happened inside public. So I'm at the deli um, making my sub. Tell the lady what I want. And then the last time I was here, which was around Christmas time, a little before Christmas, I was getting an, a sub again. And then um, this lady that was there, she's so nice. Her name is Regina. I wish she was here this time. She was making a rotisserie chicken sub and it looked so good. And I was like, I want that. But then when it was my turn, she ran, they ran out of rotisserie chicken. So she was like, girl, next time, um, make sure you get it. So I came this time, unfortunately, she was not here. But I still asked for it. So the lady who was serving me, I guess she didn't, because I don't think it's something that's on the menu. So she wasn't really aware of um, like how to charge me and stuff or how to even get the chicken. So she asked the guy who was by the chicken, the rotisserie chicken that you have to cut up. So she calls me over with the guy. And first of all, I'm Haitian, so I'm allowed to say this. 
but other people y'all y'all not allowed to say this you can't say it if you're not Haitian okay it's just I don't, it's just the rule okay so the guy she's asking is Haitian and I know that why because I'm Haitian I know how I know who's Haitian and who's not so he's just being mad like it's like he's having a bad day so he's like listen He's like, mind you, he has his strong behind Haitian accent. He's like, listen, what kind, what part of the chicken you want? We have the breast, we have this. And I was like, it doesn't really matter, sir. And he's like, listen, don't tell me it doesn't matter. Because, and he's talking to me dead like how my stepdaddy talks to me. And which is not that to say that is um, the way my stepdad talks to me is bad, but he's very like, aggressive with his words and I that's just how he is like he's just aggressive with the way he talks he's just so the guy's just like listen don't tell me um it doesn't matter I'm telling you the parts of the chicken we have and I'm like are you sure you want to do this because you sound very upset right now and he's like no you're the one that's upset and I'm like I'm literally here explaining to you that it doesn't matter what part of the chicken it is to try to make it easier on you and you're having an attitude. And I said, if I wanted to deal with an attitude, I would have stayed home. But I came to an establishment to deal with professional people and you have an attitude. So I spoke to the lady and I was like, I don't even want this chicken thing no more. Let's go back over there and I'll get a plain and simple turkey sandwich. And then he's like, okay, okay. And his look, uh, y'all, I just, First of all, I love my people. I love Haitians. But listen, and this goes for everyone. You you can't you can't do that. Like you can't get a job. This goes for Americans too. Everyone, you can't get a job and have an attitude with the customer in an establishment. Even I get this man about to get ran over. I get if someone um if someone a customer is rude to you and you get a little slick back even though that's still unprofessional but i came to you respectfully i said it doesn't matter sir what part of the chicken literally whichever is easy here for you do it do it do it like i just i can't deal i can't deal the old simone the michelle's daughter simone would have called the manager and lit lit Publix up because he was being very rude to me and there were people around me but i said you know what it's a new year i ain't trying to get nobody in trouble i ain't trying to get nobody fired i'm just gonna have a good day like i'm not about to let anyone ruin my day my baby at home getting washed about to get groomed like i'm not no 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 so that's just what happened at Publix and then when the lady was finishing my sandwich she was like I'm just I'm so sorry I don't know why he acts like that and and then he goes to talk to his manager I don't I can't hear what he's saying to his manager but I see his manager nodding so I'm pretty sure he lied to his manager and told them something but listen I'm pretty sure he the reason he had an attitude is because he would have had to take the part of the chicken and cut it up for the lady and okay you don't want to do extra work that's fine but don't take it out on me period all right y'all let's see how Bo is doing hi huh We're done. Nails. <laughs> got nails you got the nails yeah. you let her do your nails Oh, sir, sir, I don't know what you did. And he don't even look like he's bothered. I'm no, so- trying to run away now. Wow, yeah, she got the nails. He, he, he has a lot of energy though, I'll well, tell you that. But you can see the back ones. Wow. They're done. I have before and after pictures. Okay. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, you see her now, you wanna run away. No, he not going nowhere. Wow. We gotta get him cut. Mm -hmm. We, he ain't going nowhere. You ain't he done. He, he think he's I'm strong. nervous about him getting cut. He's very strong. Yeah. So he tries to pull away. Mm hmm And, you know. It's he just, doesn't. It just I'm surprised practice. he lets you get the paws. Because they told me I need to start training him on letting me touch his paws. Yeah. And he always, like, grabs it back. Look, put your hand behind his elbow. Right here. Like, when you're holding. You see how I'm holding him? Mm-hmm. Just do this. He has no. He can't put his arm back because you're holding it. Yeah. So just take something that vibrates, cell phone, drill, or if you have anything, and just rest it on his paws. He's gonna freak out a little bit, but he's not bothered by it right now. 
give him a treat, praise, reward, treat, or praise. Either one, not both. <laughs> well, so, not both? Not both, because you're overstimulating him. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Y'all getting a little one-on-one -on -one lesson from Perfectly Polished herself. <laughs> Y'all go follow her and yes. book her. Say we're gonna get a bath now so we can chill out. I'm ready for this bath and this cut. <laughs> Bo is so cute. Hi, Bo. Tell them, tell them you finished. He looks so cute, y'all. Look at his mohawk. So y'all definitely go hit up Perfect Polish. I'm gonna put it down below on um, Instagram and Facebook and all of that. And where do you serve? Dade and Broward. That's it. Um, Palm Beach as well. Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach. So y'all hit her up. Cause Bo looks so handsome. Dad did a good job. He he did, but he was good still boy. tripping. Yeah. You did so good. You want another treat? Another one? Maybe another I'll one. give you a little one. Another one. <laughs> another one. Another one. Just a little one. So he's good for about uh, six to eight weeks. And then the we'll hit probably you. probably gonna need that before that. Um, probably in like three and a half, four weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But try walking him on the on the uh, asphalt because it helps file the nails down. Okay. Um, try playing with his paws, massage. All right, y'all. Gotta bring the groceries in. Y'all, that is a Miami Dolphins truck right there. People in Miami, that's the thing about Miami. They don't care if the team sorry or not. Like, if it's a Miami team, they gonna rep it to the day they die. And you don't want to make multiple trips. <laughs> so you get all the groceries on one hand, boy. I am not coming back. Let me put y'all on real quick. This Simply Lemonade blueberry whatever this juice is fire all right y'all i'm about to eat lunch bo come here i want to show y'all one more time how handsome bo's looks bo come show them how handsome you are come here well he's trying to get some food that's why he over there no more table food, Racer said. No more bones, none of that. Look at him doing tricks. He always wanna start doing tricks when he see food. Look, y'all. Greedy, just greedy. No, you can't have any. Bo, Bo, Bo. I know you hear me calling you, little boy. Oh my gosh. 
All right, y'all, look, I just wanna show y'all how much my hair done poofed up. I'm sick of this. This is why I keep my hair in weed. This is exactly why when people ask me, oh, why you don't, this is why. This is why. All right, y'all, I'm ending this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bo looks so handsome and he smells so good. I'm about to go eat lunch and watch Gossip Girl. So, peace, Monse, peace. I'm not gonna show you, cause, yeah, you gotta say peace, huh? Peace. Peace. As soon as I cut off the camera, she gonna give him some of her sandwich. No, bro, let's go. Cause I told mom no, and what she gonna do? Give him something, look, look what he doing. Try, let's go. Bo, <laughs> you trying to hide in the corner. No, let's go. No, uh-uh, go. I can't believe she gave him a piece of his sandwich.